Okay, take three is a complete rundown of what I've been doing with the X-Touch Mini to control the ATM Mini from Blackmagic. Uh, and the coolest thing that I started with was being able to capture the output. So if I uh, switch to the clock and uh, capture the output, you'll see that the clock freezes and the media pool now has a copy of that output frame and I can switch back to the real-time clock there we go I'll turn on the picture-in-picture picture so you can see me controlling uh, all I was doing is pushing this button here but also for the picture-in-picture picture, I can control its size uh, and its position so I can move it around uh, I can also uh, have predetermined locations so in different sizes from the default sizes that are uh, built into the ATM Mini uh, so I can go uh, to this position here I can also maximize the picture in picture and make it vanish so I'll go back to that original position uh, I can use the slider here to fade. Uh, the other thing I can do if I select the source to be the media pool, I can also just turn off picture in picture. I can change the slot that the media player is displaying. So, very useful using this ATM Mini, the other um, encoders control the audio levels um, a lot more granular than on the ATM Mini and I can key on and off and change the key source and also still uh, cut and auto transition or fade to black 